welcome to Search Party, a game by alum and published by Puppet Combo. A very interesting twist, I'm not sure how many people are relatively aware of this because it was on Twitter, and if you follow Puppet Combo, if you do not, maybe there'll be a surprise to you. But Puppet Combo has published this game, which is kind of interesting, but it's a game being released tomorrow. It's supposed to release on Saturday, but I was told the embargo 8 p.m. is okay on Friday, just so you can get a little sneak peek at the very least. Other YouTubers probably do the same, it's not just me, it depends on how many are actively looking and excited to play this as I am. Now, Lum was the same person who made The Devil Hunts Me, which is a game I played a decent while ago, so for those unaware, it's probably a very similar playstyle, very similar aesthetics. So I would recommend checking out The Devil Hunts Me, but either way, Search Party looked interesting, Especially published published by Papa Combo. Let's just get into it. Sounds awesome. I mean, it looks awesome. It looks interesting. And the Devil Haunts Me. I never finished it, which I do regret. But it was an interesting and really good game, and I'd recommend definitely people uh, find it and play it themselves. Let's just get into it, anyways. Z. Yes. The newspaper is dated October 11th, 1991. Yesterday afternoon, eight years old Daniel Harrison went missing. He was last seen heading through Bluebell Woods just off Blair Road at 2.10 p.m. Traveling alone, he was taking a shortcut home after school. Police collaborated with the community and conducted a search. Party for Daniel at 5 p.m. 5.35, Daniel's sister, 16-year-old Claire Harrison, also went missing for several hours. She was accompanied by her mother, Cynthia Harrison, 39 years old, and police officer Brendan Smith, 37, when she was wandered off into the woods on her own. Claire, what? The rest is missing. Hmm. Alright. I'm just gonna make sure I'm gonna at least sitting up. I just feel so fucking lazy right now due to exhaustion. But I've been like sitting uh, in my chair. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fix shit up. And my, my face is all red from that game. <laughs> Alright. I'm not sure how weirdly blurry it is because I'm using OBS. And OBS has been giving me weird issues. But, oh, let's just get into it. Since we have camera look. Oh, we have a note up there. We have... Ah, let's just... Oh, Claire. Mom? 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 How did I get lost? I didn't think this forest was that big. Pause the game. Oh. Oh, keyboard and mouse. My mouse is... I, the mouse is just like in the screen you guys may not be able to see, but it's kind of just annoyingly the regular PC mouse cursor. So I'm just hiding it in a corner so it's just not in the way. I don't think I need to stray off the path. I don't think there'd be anything for me. I'm just going to keep following the path. Is that a house up ahead? Maybe Daniel's inside. Yep. Hold to look around. Ah, I've been doing that. Ah, that's quite a big house. Damn, that is a big house. Oh, well, we can go around it. Let's see what's up with it. Damn. I like the fact that I can. I'm like this. Ooh. Ooh, coin. Bolt cutters needed. Hmm. Let's go try to go around it. Hmm. I don't like that. But hey, let's find out what happens. I'm curious. We'll probably get lost and go back to where we came from. Yes. So if we go too far, we get sent back here, apparently. Hmm. Yeah, it really doesn't want us going off the trail. Interesting. So if there are any secrets of where the camera would allow us to go, 
now would be the... Oh, no, 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 no. Mm. Okay, it really doesn't want us... What is this? I think I can break this crate with something. Hey, what is this a porch or? I don't have anything to break it with. I don't know what the coins are for. Well, let's continue roaming around the house. The garage. Oh, an axe. I just want to see if I can explore anywhere outside because I do like. It is a big forest. How far before the forest? Yeah. No. Okay. Can I go behind the garage? Mm. All right. So we have two notes. Probably more tutorial. We need a car key. Use item or attack and charge attack. cycle through inventory. So this can do... with the mouse, though. Meh. I, I, it's just not using the mouse. Alright, well, we got an axe. And we can cycle through items like that. I think that maybe means I only can do... two hits? Yep, two more hits, so it's a good thing I, I did a charge attack to make sure we have two more hits on it. Otherwise, I'll go in empty-handed, just in case. I'm locked in. Well, some... It really makes me think of Power Drill Massacre, weirdly enough. I'm just gonna be running around though. I mean, maybe people would be like, "Hey, Mersion, why are you why are you walk not walking?" I mean, it could be like a slow, immersive experience with me just going, "Ooh, oh, oh, look at this!" But man, I wanna I wanna go places. I wanna see things. We don't have a stamina bar, so let's take advantage of it. Ah, living room key. Bolt cutters. Okay, bolt cutters for two areas. Now let's close it, just in case. This was house key. I don't know if I'd actually need this again. Can I close it, or will I use it another time? What are the coins for? Why is this just tilted? Is it just like the legs are broken? Second floor. I'm curious about the vent grating. Why if there's anything significant about them. Or maybe in one of them I'll drop something down on it. Mm, waste the axe. Eh, fuck it. Could be something there. Oh, money. Why not? I'm not sure if I'll need it to attack or not. I feel really safe in this room. Is it a safe room? I know it is. It's a bathroom. Oh, and a storage box. I'll put the key, I guess, because, uh, well, I mean, for obvious reasons. Interesting. So we'll be saving the game, and it's not going to be a one sitting kind of game. I'm not sure how long the game is, but we'll be finding out. I'll be playing maybe two or three times. Let's see how stoked I am, and let's just keep playing as much as I can. Oh, hey, it's not a, it's not like a file save of one, two, three, four, five thing, like an RPG Maker game. Just save and that's it. Okay. Also, I gotta charge my headset. All right, so back at it with my head, my headset now charging. Is this another box I can break right here? Or is this a table? It has the same pixelated texture as the table up here, so I'm gonna presume it's a table, not a box. <sighs> We have a health, so I'm, we have the health bar also, so keep in mind, we're going to get attacked. Locked from the other side. Well, should I use up the axe? I'm going to presume... Hmm. 
We're going to be running into this again. I want to make sure there's not a chance that we can repair the axe. Because if we break the axe, it's just probably gone forever. It'll just snap. So I'm going to leave it for now because we're, we're going to come back here more than likely. So I'm positive we'll come back to that box. I mean, unless there's an axe in the box, then that would be awesome. Something there. A lot of drawn faces. Okay. Another box. House key. Wait, I'm gonna need the living room. Yeah, a lot of house keys. Can I pick it up? I don't want to exit. What is this on the floor? Uh, I mean, it's gonna that's gonna bug me. I can't pick it up. I don't know if that's a bug or not. But I guess I'll leave it. Hopefully, it's not important for progression of the game. Hmm. We especially need bolt cutters. Alright, well. Oh. Oh, I get it. They're candles. Oh, okay. Thank God it's not a bug. Jesus. A missing person poster. This one is from July 13th, 1989. A torso? Bottom half? Add a key. This world ain't so happy. Missing person poster. This one is September 23rd, 1986. This world ain't so happy. Missing person poster. This one is from August 6th, 1990. Auto save, huh? A bunch of missing persons posters. Can I get that key, please? Oh. Ooh. Oh my god. Daniel. This is so horrible. I feel sick. I need to get out of here. I'm so sorry, Daniel. This house key, okay. I like that they have it so there's an in more detailed zoom up because rather than them saying, hey, use your imagination to see that this is a head, I'm glad that they did a zoom up. That's really what I appreciate in games like this. It's just like when you die in certain games that there's like a detailed death montage. Okay, we gotta find out. The attic key was down there, so we're gonna have to use the key down here for sure. Hopefully not get chased by anything. Oh god. Oh god. Hey, wait. Eh. Nope. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank you. I'll collect that coin later. Eh. Nope. It's safe in here, fuck off! Hmm... At least I can use them to break the boxes. I'll have to... Hey, no taking that coin on me. I'll have to lure him to do the same otherwise. I'm gonna save it and see if I can have him destroy the other boxes. I want him to. I want to collect all the coins. Yeah. Okay, went back upstairs. Okay, let's see. He broke that box. Nothing was in it. No, was there a box? There, I think. There's that box. There's that box. I'll have him chase me. Hey, bro! Come on! Come on! Right here. 
Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, wait, maybe? Nope, nope. Eh, eh, eh. Right here. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. He's. Can you break it? Yes. Yoink. Ah! Maybe worth, maybe not worth. Eh, eh. I'm not sure if worth. Um. Oh, very much worth. Full heal and multiple uses. Yes. Okay. Actually, wait, I'll be using this. Alright. Oh, very much worth it. Save the game. Let's focus on the stairs down below. Because they're, I mean, uh, focus on the floor down below. If you have it so the door is closed, at the very least, we know if it's open where he's been and hasn't been. Outside? Ah. Shovel. It want me to dig somewhere, huh? Oh, it's an oh, it's an attack. I'm gonna have to see if I can kill the dude too. Let's see. A save. Ooh, look at all this stuff. Okay, okay. Well, I'm hmm. I. I think there'll be a point in time when we can make a backpacker to be able to hold more. It's what it almost seems like. More healing. Beautiful. Um, I guess all this isn't important, or I just can't reach it. Locked. I should try each of the keys then, just in case. It doesn't tell me what kind of key it might want. Nope. Nope. Alright, better safe than sorry to try. Alright, now... Oh! Sure. Extra health. Hopefully then the coins wouldn't be used for inventory space as well, or else I wouldn't want to do that. So I will not save again until I find out. Because if coins can be used for inventory space, I'd rather do that than life. Mm -hmm. Oh, I saw. I saw. I have good vision. Guess I'll roam around to see if I can find more coins while out here. Oh. Yeah? Oh, shit. Wait, and... More health? Hey, more coins. Shit. Okay, maybe I can buy some health in the other one. Inventory space. Look for more coins, and... I guess I'll save. Because now we had ten coins total. No, there we go. Yep, another one. Being this thorough is why it's a good thing I am thorough. I don't know if that was good English or not, so don't mock me for it, please. My English can be shit sometimes. Everyone already knows that. Please don't make fun of me. But yeah, lots of healing. Wait, I used that twice? Or it needed to be used twice to heal the amount of health I had missing? Mm. I'll use the axe on the dude, nonetheless. Um, I, maybe he can be killed. Oh yeah, I forgot to save. Maybe he can be killed if I hit him enough times. Or he just gets knocked out. I'm going to presume it's you knock him out and he's out of commission 
temporarily. I'm presuming that's the case. Uh, do, oh. Yeah! Fuck you! I hit you with an axe. And... Haha! Uh -huh. No! Hmm. <laughs> Alright, let's get that axe. Nah. This is a safe place. Safe place. Sanctuary. Let's try. Come here. Come here. Right, where'd you go? Do you go to the right? I am armed, heathen. I mean, that was a full charge attack. I don't know how much damage it did, but full charge axe. Get a little space between us first, buddy. Okay, now... Yeah! Oof! Charge attack, thank you. Oh, yeah! Yeah. I can fuck him up, but... And then I'm dead. What happens if I die? You died. Well, we figured it out. We don't have to waste. Um, I'll use the axe for breaking a box at some point in time. Otherwise, I don't know if I'll really need self-defense. I'll leave them for breakable things, rather. Ah. Uh. So I don't think I'll carry any. I, I, for fuck's sakes, I will. I will save my inventory space for important items. Can we run by them? Oh jeez! I try to close the door. Oh, fuck you. He opens the door, he's like, fuck, I can't enter the bathroom. There's a girl in it, so it's girls' bathroom only. No males allowed. That's how bathrooms used to work in the 90s. Let's not get political. It's <laughs> just a joke. But, um, we have the key needed to roam in other areas. Oh, he's going that way. Perfect. Perfect. Go downstairs. Excellent. Alright, let's find out what's in all the other rooms. There's a lot of pictures here. Most of them are either blank or really out of focus. September 23rd, 1984. I'm not really sure what I'm looking at. Me neither. Squish my guts. Oh, God! Oh! Surprise attack. Good job. I didn't expect that. It definitely is, uh, in a manner, I'd compare it definitely to Power Drill Massacre. Who the fuck would expect that? You saw him go downstairs and Sonny's in the fuck... Actually, you know what? Power Drill Massacre and Clock Tower. I can't even use the place he hid in. Oh man. Oh, oh. Oh, Cleaver. New weapon. Oh. Mm, might as well make use of it. So this dude could literally be hiding. He could literally... I'm gonna have to push that, I guess. Make it fall through the floor. You can be hiding anywhere, even if logically it makes no sense. Just like it would be in Clock Tower with a scissor killer. Splat. Ooh, nom nom. Wait. Didn't I have something there, or no? I guess not. I don't know. I saw it. 10.01.84. Well, that I can tell is teeth. So if I drop down here, is this just an escape route to the kitchen? Ooh. 
An extinguisher. Oh man, full inventory and shit. Oh, they're letting me. Oh wow, developer, thank you. Such generosity. Honestly, like, look at this. I mean, not of the healing, mind you, but um, dropping you in an area with multiple items. Add a key. A fire extinguisher. It's gonna be a part of the house that might be on fire. Interesting. So now we can go to the attic, but I still want to finish off all the floor, all the doors in the second floor if I haven't already. I don't know where he is if he's not. Oh yeah, he can bust out of that closet too. He definitely will. I'm gonna stay away from it. Oh, there he is. Shit. I'll lure him down below. Hey, what's up? What's up? I'll lure him here. Yeah, like that. Yeah. <laughs> Funny. All right, I'm gonna leave it here. We got a lot of good shit. Um, we just have to explore the rest of the second floor, third floor, attic, and we're gonna have fun. We're gonna find all the shit we can. Um, we have ten coins, so hopefully we'll be able to get inventory uh, expansion if possible. If not, then all the coins might be just for is just for the health. We'll find out. Because this isn't a Steam game, we can't get any Steam achievements. It'll probably go on Steam later. Or maybe it will be on Steam on Saturday. I have no idea, honestly. I just know I downloaded it. But either way, not on Steam at the moment. Maybe it will on Saturday. So if it is on Steam, look it up on Steam. Or actually, well, I mean, if it is on Steam, I'll have it in the description below for you to go to it, wishlist it, follow it, buy it, all that kind of shit. So, if not that, also the itch.io page. So, I hope you enjoy this game and look forward to me playing more of this very interesting game. It's like a mix of Clock Tower and Power Drill Massacre, but in uh, Lum's uh, artistic gameplay and aesthetic style. Which is unique in its own right, because it's got quality behind it, it's got polish, but it also looks both retro and not so retro. It's interesting, and it's it's his own unique way of uh, making games at the very moment, and I can appreciate it. So, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a subscriber, hit the bell notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching, until the next time. Mm.